In this video, I'm going to show you the current ways to edit and create WordPress menus, and I'm going to show you when it doesn't work with Elementor and a workaround to make it work with Elementor. You're going to want to stay to the very end of the video so you know how to do the workaround. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. Let's talk about all the ways the new methods of adding WordPress menus can mess with your brain. Here we have a menu, super simple, super nice. It used to be really easy to make these. If you've been around WordPress for any amount of time, you go into the dashboard, you go to appearance and then menus, and you customize your menu here by selecting items on the left, clicking on add to menu. Here it appears, you can make them sub menus, flyout menus, whatever you wanna call them. And you just really easily make a menu, save it, tell it where it should go, and boom, you're done. This still works for non-block themes, but now that there are block themes, things are a lot harder. So the first way to make a menu is what I just showed you. Appearance menus and customize it in here just by dragging and dropping things. But that's not the way of the future, so we're not gonna dwell on this for very long. So let me delete this one, save our menu so we have it. If we change to a different theme, which is a block theme like the 2024 theme, all of a sudden, appearance and menus is gone. Wait for it, here we go, appearance. Now we have editor. We edit the menus. Well, this is one of the places to edit the menus right in here. And if we go out to the front end of our website, it's all jacked up. Never mind the design changes, that's because I changed themes. That's to be expected. But the menu is all jacked up. Whereas before, when you switch themes, your menus would stay the same, no matter what theme you went to. But now with the new full set editing and block themes, it's different. So we get here by going to Appearance, then Editor. And if we click on Navigation, it will show our menu. We can see it up here already but we can edit it now inside the navigation area. And this is not the best spot to edit it currently, but you can do simple things like dragging, dropping the menu. This is saying if we change any, make any changes to the menu, it won't automatically add new pages to it, which is probably a good thing. But when we click okay there, we can now rearrange our menu. We can now delete things, remove all the extra pages that we don't need. And we can edit our menu in this fashion pretty easily. We can't add any new navigation items, we can only rearrange. We can also make submenus by hovering over a menu item above another one. Now we have the card here as a flyout menu. It doesn't work in the back end, but it'll work on the front end. If we want to actually edit the contents of the menu, we need to click on navigation and the three dots beside it. Click on edit. Now we come into the block editor for the navigation menu. Click into it, now we can make actual changes. We can change the name of things. We can remove items completely. We have an outline around this shop word here, so we know we're on that block, and we can just go here and delete, and it's gone. So let's clean up this menu a little bit and delete all the stuff we don't want. You can use keyboard shortcuts as well to make your life a little bit easier. Today's video is brought to you by Breakdance, the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It's easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features, including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder, and seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you're just starting your WordPress journey or you're a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try it today and experience the Breakdance difference. Now we have some kind of a workable menu here. If you want to adjust the positioning, just click on a component or a block, click on the right arrow to move it over. If you want to add new items to the menu, click on the plus icon, click on add block. Now we can add a page link, a custom link, a sub menu, buttons, a page list, or search options. I'm going to add a button. I'm going to say, get a quote, and we can adjust the styling on the right hand side. Keep the settings for the width to 100%. That'll work the best. For the background color, I'm just gonna choose this orange. The text I will make, but no, I'll keep it white. White looks good on there. And now we have a cool little button on our menu. So th what this allows is a lot more customization for your menus. The way I showed you at the beginning of this video to add menus, which is the old way, you couldn't do any customization like this. You had to rely on themes and third-party widgets to customize your menus. Now we can do it right inside the WordPress editor. If I refresh the page, our new menu should look pretty good. Yeah, that's looking pretty solid. Look at that. But 
there's more trouble afoot. So this is how you edit the menu inside of the full site editing capabilities that are now inside of WordPress. What if we're using a page builder like Elementor or Divi or some other one that ties into the old way of creating WordPress menus? Now I've got a problem. Watch this. If I head back into the WordPress site, and exit out of the full site editing, we have Elementor Pro installed. So we get the navigation widget. If I go to pages and add new, and edit with Elementor. So this is showing the, the menu from the WordPress site, which is fine if you want to design it that way. But if you're doing Elementor or Canvas, or you want full pages, everything completely designed by Elementor, then we're up the creek because when we add a menu widget, we have no menus on our site, even though we just created the navigation menu in the editor just a second ago. And here it says, go to the menu screen to create one. We go there, and because this is a block theme, we get this error. We're kind of up the creek, right? Not entirely, we have a few options. So we can create a menu manually inside of Elementor, which is kind of painful and it's not very flexible, but there's also a hacky way of working around it. So first I'm just gonna show you what you could do for your menus if you wanted. Let's use this setup here. I'm gonna have an image on the left. It's gonna choose a logo, this one here. Beautiful. Let's align that to the left. Let's change that width a little bit. There we go, that's pretty good. On the right hand side, we're gonna have our menu items. We're gonna make those buttons. Put that in there. I'm gonna tweak, no I'm not, it's gonna duplicate this, I'll tweak it later. Duplicate this button, so we have a whole bunch. Click on the column icon and change it from flex box to grid. Change the grid columns to, in my case, four or whatever number of menu items you have, you change this to. And then customize the design of the menu item. I'm gonna get rid of the background color, change the text color to black. When someone hovers, change it to some other color, green in my case. And then I can copy the styles and paste them over here. And I can align these all to the right by clicking on to the column options, going down to justify items and putting them on the right. And I'm going to reduce the number of rows to one. And I can align it in the middle by align items and then center just to make sure they're centered with the logo over here. And now we have some semblance of a menu. And we can change the text of all these, of course, to be more menu-like. For example, home, boat, services, my account, something like that. Now we have some semblance of a menu. These spaces are a little ridiculous. You can adjust things and, and play around with the, the spacing to make it work, but it's not as good as it was before because Elementor cannot tie into block theme menus, at least not yet. Hopefully they will be able to soon. So you can make a menu this way, or you can do this workaround hack I'm gonna show you right now. It's gonna publish this just in case we need it again later in the video and head out to WordPress. You have to stick with me here for a minute. It's a workaround, it's a hack. So it's not quite how you're used to doing things. So go to themes, or we're gonna install a non-block theme, like Astra, for example, so that we get the menu option back. We go to appearance and then menus, and then in here we can create a menu. Let's call it main nav, create the menu. Let's add the home page, cart page, about page, contact page, my account, just a bunch of things just to demonstrate how this works. That looks pretty good. Save that menu. Now go back to appearance and then themes, and turn on the block theme that you wanna use. And you'll notice that once again, the menu item is gone from under appearance. It now says appearance and editor, and that's okay, stick with me. Go to pages, let's choose the one with the highest number. That should be the one we just messed around with a moment ago for that menu. So there's the menu that we hacked in there doing it manually. Now watch this. Let's add the same design of container, two thirds and one third. And now let's, let's duplicate this again, just for good measure. Put that in there, beautiful. And then we add the navigation widget, which didn't work a moment ago, remember? But watch this, there's our main nav. Look at that. Now we can create a menu, just like we always did in Elementor. We don't have to worry about the block theme 
not having the capability because we just created this menu on a non-block theme, saved it to the database. When we deactivate that non-block theme, that database entry is still there. We can't access it anywhere when we're using a block theme, but the database still has the information and then Elementor taps into the database and you can keep on using your menu widget as you always have until Elementor figures out that the block themes don't work with its menu widgets and creates a workaround for us or creates a solution for us. Until then, this hacky workaround works really well. So with that, you now know a couple of ways to edit the menus in WordPress depending on what type of theme you're using, whether it's a block theme or a non-block theme, and whether you're using Elementor or not Elementor with one of those types of themes. If you found this video useful, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribing. And next up, check out this playlist right here, which is all about improving your Elementor skills and your Elementor knowledge. So make sure you check that out. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.